The 24 man. The 24, right. Yeah, the, the thing that started about 15 minutes ago. Theoretically. 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 Oh, but I figured you guys would be in group for that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we were in group for the we were in group for the dungeon. Oh. For we a saw there were other people and wanted to say hi. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean that makes sense. By the way. Hi. Hello. Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we need a minute anyway, since um a few of us are still acquiring the 24 man. Yes, indeed. Okie dokie. And since there's going to be some overlap with that as well, I probably don't want to be talking two different instances at once in the same chat, so... Yeah, yeah I think we will... We'll, yeah, we can... We can move over, over to group. group. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm no. sorry, but it's okay. No, you're fine. It's okay. <laughs> makes sense. No! <laughs> well, that was a thing. <laughs> I hopped in general because I was like, they're probably doing group stuff, so we yeah. should we should be fine in general. It was logical. <laughs> and I spent like 15, 20 minutes getting all of my OBS stuff reset up because we don't usually use this channel. <laughs> and it's per channel. Like, I have to set up a different overlay for each channel. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You could change discords if you wanted to. I do have that one set up, but then I have to, like, switch them all off and turn the other ones on. It's fine. Are you sure? It's fine. Are you sure? Yes, we can just I move. Don't, I don't. I don't want to seem rude. Meh. I'll let them know in FC chat. It's not a big deal. I've already got it all set up. Like I'm ready to go. Okay. Well then, let's go. I was just gonna be really mad if they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna stay here. You guys go on down to the group channel." Because then I would have had to <laughs> set all of that one up. Us. At all that right. point, I would have been like, "Let's just switch to the other Discord." <laughs> I'm all set. You guys set? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nobody in here. Nope, what? just Tataru. Oh, oh yeah, just Tataru. That's because the Scions, quote unquote, disbanded. Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, Jax. Mm -hmm. you, you've been running all over Imperium for the last hour. Did you run into a blue elephant? No, but I heard about it. So did I. I want to find it. <laughs> uh because uh, Astinian actually talks about something that he got from Radzadhan. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. Newfound adventure. Tatru is point putting on a pot of tea and looks in need of company. I think that's the, the earliest we've ever gotten one of those gift box rewards. Mm -hmm. She's going to be like, here, have some, uh, have some clothes. <laughs> that's, that's what she does when she misses us. She makes clothes. I would love a pot of tea. Thank you very much. I thought you said a pot of tea. And a nibble. And a nibble. Here, I made this entire basket of uh, pastries. She's bored. these days without everyone around not that I'm pining for your return. of course not I have my sources and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors <sighs> meanwhile I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? I'm a follow-up really. bird. 
I'm still mulling it over. <laughs> no, a grand new adventure, of course. I promised one to Graha. Oh, that's right. Yep, that's the answer. <laughs> Traveling to the edge of existence and back wasn't it? No. Well, if that's the case, I might have a suggestion for you. You've fought bravely and selflessly, helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. Yep, that was me. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? I can do that. Acquit yourself as a simple adventurer again and travel the world in search of wonder. Sounds like a plan. You're right. Who knows what mysteries are still waiting to be discovered? Who knows? Damn it, Salk knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. I can feel from here the blazing fire that just lit in your belly. Sorry, that's indigestion. All you need is a destination. If you're having trouble deciding, just leave it to me. Savner, that's where you should go next. Okay. okay. I doubt you were able to squeeze in a proper tour of Rads at Han the last time you were there. What with the burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth, and I'm sure Ritra would be pleased to see you. T Tatsu, you weren't there. We literally scoured the entire place looking for a stinking uh, vista. We couldn't find it until weeks later. Now's your chance. Anyway. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Hmm. I do like experience. Hello. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? That's literally the first thing he said. <laughs> As the bearer of crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. Hey. I, I'm, I'm going to laugh of every single point X patch here. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. It's just the opening of a little bit. Not a little bit. I'm sorry. Emin Selk saying the next line in that conversation. to gift you a new set of traveling. What about Maricidia, the continent to the south? Shouldn't take much longer now, though, so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can... What with you fantasia and all? <laughs> Make sure it has pockets. <laughs> I'm gonna choose that, too. Oh, goodness. She just smiles at me. <laughs> right. Stitching here and trimming there. Not the threads with love and care. Cute. Oh. <laughs> just a little more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming. You certainly enjoys this. Mm hmm. But you're making a you're making a sheep. I have won with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders. To isn't my that wings. isn't that a weaver's um It is. It is she's literally using ether to construct it. <laughs> this is how crafting actually works. Don't worry. I'll make sure the lining has plenty of pockets for all your little treasures. <laughs> I swear adventurers are worse than children when it comes nice. to hoarding every feather and leaf and animal hide they come across. <laughs> no, I don't keep all that. Don't look at my inventory, Tataru. I have three slots left. <laughs> <laughs> Four. 
she should have a different a different statement there depending on how many inventory items you have she might have a different statement there depending on what you choose no nope. oh all right she i i picked the I told her she was the best and she still told me i had lots of pockets <laughs> okay i wow. think i think i just passed out yeah uh... hello What is this? What's going on already? Why am I already lost? That's not that's not Xenos's avatar, is it? I think it might be. Well, crap. Okay. I was gonna what? say this. This kind of looks like the world of darkness. It does. I, th I think it actually is. Oh, that's not a. That's not a worrisome start to this at all. Oh, what the was... frick is going on? I thought this was gonna be carefree and just let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I love that he's that Yoshi P is like, yeah, Zenos is probably dead. I mean, he really is. He did breath his last life. He's gone. Bye, bye, bye. Ah, oh, you're awake. But nobody said a word about the Avatar. And it makes sense because he made a really po big point about the Avatar, and we heard nothing about it. Yoshi P. My apologies. I do get a little carried away with my sewing. That's okay. What you got for me? Can I dye it? I'm going to immediately make it look differently than you presented. Cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? I would not call that a pleasant dream. <laughs> <laughs> I dreamt of a friend, apparently. And so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the dining If you couldn't tell I'm really excited about this patch, I'm talking over literally every line. My apologies. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> So will it be purchasable from there? No, because we have the reward. Hmm. That's true. Oh. No, it does that automatically. It, it usually removes your weapons, right? For mm -hmm. cutscenes? I have mine turned off, so... Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. That's I'm new. Like... I'm trying to remember it, because, I yeah, I was going to say, I thought our weapons were usually present. I forgot I hadn't switched back to Black Mage. <laughs> well, the good news is it hasn't cut you off yet. Thank God for that. I love this hairstyle. I'm so glad that it's available to me again. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, oh, the Roma hair. <laughs> right. They uh, they shrunk the ponytail so that it doesn't get in the way of my ears. We. I have too many on my favorites. I need to take something off. Wee! Because it's so small, it feels like I'm moving really fast. I want. I don't know what I want. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm just swinging around. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs uh, at the north end. I missed the door. I like the way my body swings around while I'm yeah, <laughs> riding it, it on it. It feels really good. No wonder they put so much effort into it. Oh yeah, artifact equipment. Fun. Okay. 
Hello, Dr. Rue. It's weird not having a bunch of NPCs to talk to. No napping. I'll try. I mean, it looks fine on the mannequin, but does that mannequin have hair? It, something. <laughs> it does. The mannequin has hair. You've done yourself, Doctor. Thank you. So what do I owe you? Oh, don't be silly. Your approval is payment enough. Walking advertisement. <laughs> Sweet yeah, music know. to my ear. Woo. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Neat necklace and ear cuff. Um, I have some bad news. Do you need to redo the scene? Probably. Hold on. An ending code X. And this will be for later. Persons and concepts. Not events, not places. Concepts. <laughs> <laughs> And one slot remaining. Oh, thank God. The accessories went into my armory chest. I had four slots. Yikes. We good. Um, Picnic over here freaking me out. Oh, with the house thing. Dad, yeah, that is kind of bizarre. Maybe you bid on plot 30. Uh, maybe. It's kind of weird. I think I, I think I did plot 42, which is hilarious now that I'm thinking about it. Wait, did she not give us pants? Who needs pants? I mean, pants she, are... No! She didn't it give us... A top, pants, and boots. I got a top, gloves, and boots. Yeah. That's I don't have... I, I don't have pants. No pants. 
am pantsless. Yeah, she didn't make us any pants. Picnic over here trying to just destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> it does though. It, it says plot three, twelfth ward. <laughs> and picnic's like that that's a small Jax. And I'm like, that's not a small oh no. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> no, the um, apparently the verbiage is wrong. Oh, it actually looks really good on you. I don't have any pants. Well, it looks really good on you without pants. Oh, necklaces do show up on this. That's cool. I figured they would if they gave you a necklace to go with it. I like the uh, the partial glove on the left hand. That's pretty cool. Me and Raha match. <laughs> oh no. You do. Sorry, I'm going out into the light. Yet another piece of glamour gear that very subtly shows off the back of your neck, which is oh, where the legacy, legacy tattoo, tattoo is. Yeah. They've been doing that a lot lately. All right, who has my dies? I do, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's money. Like, there's a lot of pokey things on this. It's my, uh, weapon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Jax. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any, um, any, um, any, um, wine red dye? Very likely. I just need one. Um, uh, where are you? It's outside. Mm. Like the door. Because it's it's all bright out here, so we can actually see. <laughs> I 
Thank you. You're welcome. There. Perfect. It colored the ties in the back. Oh, it did! <laughs> Perfect. Everybody just sort of wearing whatever pants they had on them at the time. <laughs> yeah. I kind of love it though. It gives a little bit of a. I don't know, like a ragtag individualistic sort of look to these outfits. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to do some blasphemy. Okay. This is what I'm going to go as. Okay. Can't handle it, huh? I, I'd have to go redo my glamour. <laughs> and I don't want to do that right now. I want to do story. Speaking of which, shall we do more story or do you need more work? Use as instant portrait, apply to adventure plate. I'm good. I right. think we were just looked at for a second. Quite possibly. I love it when people stutter step around us. <laughs> <laughs> just don't mind us, just a, a few bunnies. I teleported into uh, Radzatan earlier today and ended up right next to two bunny boys who are both taller than me. By like a whole head. <laughs> <laughs> it was mildly intimidating. Okay. I'm all set. Okie dokie. Are you all set? I'm all set. I am. Okay. Tataru, I have more things. Oh gosh, get off that bird. Or, or leave, that works too. Thank you. Bountiful ruins. Quote unquote former. <laughs> We know the place. Bye bye. Yeah, Stinian's been sitting there since uh, since the end of the expansion. <laughs> I'm just gonna teleport us there because uh, unless everybody has it as a return or freebie, I have it as a return. I have it as I a do. return. I do too. Oh, well, we'll just return and not waste one of my tickets. <laughs> ah, I'm cheap. Okay, let me get my bearings here a second. All right, we are going to go to the Merid's Mayon. I have no idea if I spelled that right. Spelled it? <laughs> spelled pronounced it. it right. Shoosh. 
Oh jeez, look at all the cutscene groups. Ah uh, yes, pretty oh. again. Good. There's a thingy here. What thingy? Yeah. A sightseeing thing. Oh. oh. We got it at some point, I guess. Oh look, it. there's dancers. For reference checks, those are NPCs. Because <laughs> I know you can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> You're right. Oh, they're doing a, a variation on the Thavnarian dance. I cannot dance as well as them. No, not that one. Oh no, it's the Far Eastern dance that I'm thinking of. Never mind. Okay, I'm good now. Got that out of my system. <laughs> Melil! She should be tired of seeing us by now. Estinian's not in his seat anymore. Oh, it has happy music now. It has Seventh Heaven music. It does. It's that guy standing over there in the back. Oh, never mind. I think I saw a mustache. I think you might be right. <laughs> We're not allowed to buy things anymore. <laughs> nope. Hey, you, savior of the star. It's on the house. Well, that's nice. What about that weapon over there? 800 tomes. <laughs> <laughs> just, Bro, why not? just 800. I know, everybody's buying him drinks. I don't know. Guy's tipsy. Nope. Okay. Cannot be skipped. I'm going to begin speaking with Jalene. Hello, bearded one. He kind of reminds me of that guy from the, uh, um, the relic quest. He does a little bit. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh, just a friendly chat. How about a drink? Oh, <laughs> yes. Freely offered. I have no ulterior motives whatsoever. <laughs> the single pole. Okay. Could have been straightforward with him. <laughs> Ooh, a hun. Alzadal. I'm not familiar with him, actually. Please tell me more. Yeah. He has quite the helmet on. Oh, interesting. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm sure Vritra has a lot to say. I bet he does. Oh, his family line is the the ones that Vritra has been been using as his cover. Oh yeah. Oh, this is that thing that we couldn't figure out what it was. I was just about to say, he looks like he's getting um, parched. I'm a bit behind you. Sorry, what were you saying? I said this is that thing, that structure out in the middle of the ocean that we couldn't figure out what it was. I'll bet. Maybe. I think that was a fate, though. Are you sure? Fairly confident. I could be wrong, though. Milil, another round for the professor. <laughs> this one's not for free. <laughs> He's loosened up. Mm -hmm. Stranger to peril. I should have just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely should have just walked away. <laughs> this one's on your coin, Professor. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't going well. More drinks. Say nothing. Oh, is that what you're going with? Yes. I'm asking for water. <laughs> she gave me a wink. First he yells, then he's like, that's that's probably for the best. Very kind of you. That's funny. My head will thank you in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, see, my, my guy's not doing so hot. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> oh, he mentioned Master Jalzan. Well, that's a bummer. If he had been more conscious, I would have gotten more information from him. All right, are you... Do you need to do it again, or...? You, you can't do it again. 
Okay. Nope, just told me that I didn't get as much information as I could have. Well, I am looking for a... Uh, Azama? Azama, yes. I am also. He did mention um, Jalzan, who was no, the I guy from the Relic Quest. Maybe that's what the mention or the uh, the water would have done. Give you a little more, a little bit more understanding as to who that is. Oh, I found him. That was fast. He's over by the dodos. Wait, they're not called dodos. They're called hamas. Who are you looking for? You're uh -huh. on a different quest now. We're, we're over here. <laughs> With Azama? Yeah, he's at the yeah. table. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's what. That is <laughs> crazy. This is funny. That's new. <laughs> that's great. Okay, well, we're going to do this cutscene, I guess. That's sad. I guess that's what the other uh, cutscene group is. <laughs> mm. I suggest you put your affairs in order. Okay, good. You're getting the same cutscene as me. That was weird. I still got told everything. Mm. Weird. It's an interesting way to split the players, though. That is true. Oh no, this guy is paid to be all desperate for the map. Mm -hmm. What's all this about? My mother and father. Oh, is this Rustinian pays an exorbitant amount of gil? Can you spare yeah, probably. Kindness? I mean, if he's getting the money from uh, Emmerich, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> sure. So, you hope to find your fortune, and what? You expect me to surrender my wares for peace's sake? That's Thancred's voice actor. I was about to say that, uh, yeah. What have you to offer in payment? That is exactly Thancred's. He just has a different accent. <laughs> That's As great. Know, come back when you've more than rags to your name. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal the Third, one of the great star tracks of Radzat Han, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. A map to Alzadal's legacy. There is Alzadal. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty, but you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. Okay. Gimme. A priceless artifact it is discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days. And lovingly restored by yours truly. <sighs> this map is the key to fabulous riches. And I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> no. You tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim. Okay. Now I shall envy the one who purchases that. <laughs> 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 nice. I don't know. 
sick as the golden hordes they stand to uncover. He's like, look at first, At first, when you said that, I was like, yeah, that's absolutely it. And then as he, like, kept talking, I was like, I don't know. Now it's definitely, he's been paid to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he put on a good show right before this. Yeah, he did. Clever con, though. No. No. It's not real, though. We know that now. <laughs> what of you, sir? Fighting many, your statue would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? Mm. Mm. Don't fall for it. If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my oh, no. sister would never want for food. Estinian, don't. This... Oh no, his family. It touched the softest part of Estinian, which is like an inch wide. It, it's not very big. Kid probably gets a cut of whatever he makes. Okay. Hey, uh, Stinian. Well met, my friend. Yeah. Someone is dressed for adventure. <laughs> what did he say to you? He say the same thing to you. Yeah. Even though you're not dressed. <laughs> I'm dressed for adventure. I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. We're always dressed for adventure. <laughs> Ruins beneath the bounty. Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just some. How oh, curious. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> With that sale, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir, but if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. And now I've fleeced one of the heroes of the final days. Just we're elsewhere. <laughs> he's he's feeling nervous about it. <laughs> and even the kids like, oh no. This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. I never took you for a treasure hunter. I bet you that little kid was his I brother. Understand. I seek the treasure not for myself. Oh. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. This is like the sunken city of Scala. Mm hmm. From Stormblood. That was a point one patch, too, wasn't it? Thavnir, it was. For the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Oh, there you go. <laughs> one more line, Jax. Just one more line. <laughs> Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tale of shared <laughs> exploits. This is true. Eh, what you gonna do? Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. It's good to see they didn't pull the wool over your eyes there, Stinian. I was worried for you. I his role was to right. the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part. It was not all mummery. Ah. To provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent. I knew that's what he was thinking as Whether soon as he said that about it not. may not be a real map. That that's what he was. Yeah. He knew that it was going to help the boy somehow. Good on you, Estinian. 
You are coming along, yes? <laughs> and what? I missed this <laughs> opportunity? <laughs> Shall we split the expenses? <laughs> Naturally. Oh, it's a fishing expedition sound song. I appreciate the concern, but one thing I've <laughs> learned from my time with the science is how to better manage my coin purse. He won't let me pay for any of it. <laughs> oh. now, He's like, I have all the money in the world. The I'll just... No, no, no. Build a Tataru. He literally said, if there's anything I've learned from my time with the Scions, is how to better manage my coin purse. <laughs> Feeling this is not the last we see of this boy. Nah, not at all. Not even close. Because he feels guilty now. Yep. He's going to follow us. And he's going to get into trouble. Oh, dear. And my character looks really good. Matsya. have to be careful, your uh, ride pillion is no longer the second option. <laughs> hmm? When I click on you, the second option is no longer ride pillion, it's view adventurer plate. Oh, oh I see. I mean, you can view your adventurer plate if you want. I mean, I can, yes, but that doesn't help me get in the car. <laughs> That's fair. Have you had a chance to mess around with that yet, Echo? No. I feel like all that Echo did was log on and start MSQ with us. Yep. <laughs> There's an Astinian here. Under this behemoth. Thanks, Matsya. Oh, dear. Oh, there he is. You got a stowaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see that nothing really gets by Estinian anymore. Thank goodness.
It's a really pretty shot with the sun. Mm hmm. Maybe even a whole army. <laughs> now you've gone and made him cry. We could invite our comrades. Nah, we might need a hand moving it. Another DPS. Uh, Not Kryal or Graha because they won't fill out the party. Um, so Alpha No and Alize. I love that there's just Yastola. She will solve all the problems. She will carry all the gold. Alpha No and Alize. I don't know. They'll jump at the opportunity. Apparently, like well. Oh, right. Well, fine. How about they credit and Rianje? They're busy. <laughs> fine. What about Graha, Tia, and Kroyal? Because you remember what Raha said. I'm going to be busy with some stuff, but as soon as there's an adventure, you let me know and I will drop everything. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Well, I, I thought it was going to be a pair, so when Cryo was thrown into that, I was like, no. But, eh, Stinian disregarded the uh, Baldesian woman. Ooh. Estinian's got a friend. Mm-hmm. Well. Alfie grew up, so <laughs> Yeah, he needs a new little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is not as gruff as he makes out to be, you think? Yay! Graha! Graha! I have yet to see any other bunnies with my hairstyle. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people realized the hairstyles that were uh, released. Also, it was a um, it was an unlockable hairstyle. That's true. But they did bring it back the last time they did the Make It Rain. Although, if you were a bunny, you probably wouldn't have bought it if you didn't think it was available to you. Very true. They need to bring it back again now that it is uh, Vera. A third time! There's a lot of people over here. Oh, I fell down a hole. Oh, jeez, there are a lot of people here. Where do I go? Okay. Oh, Jika, up here at the front. I 
to get rid of the markers. I mean, all the X. I don't know what it is on the controller. Oh yeah, sorry. Knock, knock. Ah. Hello? Oh, there. Hello. No. Hello. Ah, Erjika, my good man. Wrong. Guess again. Would you be so kind as to... <laughs> my character has such a smile on her face. Hang on, take a picture. Perfect. That trail off, though. <laughs> oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I wish you had sent word ahead. <laughs> I thought I was having visions for a moment there. That was a restoration of the students coming along. What are you working on? <laughs> Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Fowl. And judging by the progress we've made thus far, sorting this pile will keep us occupied for days to come. Aww. But what brings you to the annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? The treasure vault of Alzadar III. And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. I would dearly love to accompany you, of course, but I'm afraid I'm committed to another task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, oh no! Even his ears are twitching. Then again, it's not so urgent that it can't wait until you <laughs> Rum is dying. Look at him trying not to explode. <laughs> He's trying very hard. Look, 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 look. It's a new entry to that exploding cats game. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'd hate to leave you short handed. Whoa. <laughs> it's a courtesy, he doesn't mean that. Oh, no. Sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. Nope. Well, <laughs> the first. I guess we're the first. That is the ready. best well I've ever heard delivered ever. Well. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> um, no, just you. I went and got just you. Just, just you, just buddy. You. I mean, Estinian's coming too, but that's incidental. You're the only one I asked to come. <laughs> He's coming because he has the map. <laughs> then might I suggest we invite your Stola? Oh, okay. Oh. oh, that makes sense. That would be our four-member party because Graha can do any role. Fair. Hoping to piece together a method to traverse the rift. It would seem, however, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlian the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenor. Considering what you've told us of Alzadal's extraordinary feats. I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Oh, well, that's true. If it was supposed to be another worldly treasure. 
mend it. Then let us head to the archives at once. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait, before you that go, line read. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Urianger. This is getting to be a big party. He sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like. But Oh. From what I can gather, the Loperits are looking to make improvements to their own creation and wish to learn more that makes about sense. how we build things down here. So, why not take Urianger with you? Let him study Alzadal's legacy firsthand. None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, I say we extend Urianger an invitation once we've spoken with your stoma. Okay. Safe travels, you two. But don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. Is it an alliance raid? Probably. Right. Then it's off to the library. Yeah. Off to the adventure. I mean, library. I mean, I guess I can't be too upset. He's the one who suggested we bring other people. <laughs> Still need to take him to Ishgard, though. Indeed. Wait. <laughs> the studium. And then immediately turn around. With us at Rama? I'm here, here. I'm here. Here she comes. Hey, Ursula. Oh, dear. Yes. Oh. Well, then. to doze off in the middle of research before. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I'm just enjoying the moment. It's kind of sweet. I mean, that's what we did with Raha and Alize when they fell asleep. Mm hmm. And now they got mad. Twitchy. I assume your stole is going to be mad. <laughs> mm. Close my eyes for one moment. Hello. <laughs> the music. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Raha's face when that happened. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Oh dear. We didn't want to wake you.
something to that effect. Oh. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion. Good lord. You sound exhausted. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints, at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So you do I that. Rumor, but twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. You needn't be so hard on yourself. The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. You're, you're not helping, Groha. <laughs> yeah, it took multiple lifetimes. <laughs> oh, you think me discouraged? I assure you, tis quite fair innocent. enough. A daunting challenge, and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. Nice. A scholar in her element. I'm so tall around these cats. <laughs> Indeed. Was there something else you wish to ask of me? They're only a tiny bit shorter than me. Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history, and much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. Hmm, piqued her interest. If those tales are true, and he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. You know what this is? An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries. As if I could refuse. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries? <laughs> I was gonna say it's a classic D&D uh, &D adventure. With hooks for all of the different characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That is true. Everybody needs a reason to go for it. Akiali by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Urianje as well. He was in Thalmazane last we heard. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way. She, she's working hard already. Hello, Mr. Mamet. I was going to say, why is that mammoth suspicious? But I think he's just upset. He has to put all the books away. Right. Though I suppose that's what they're there for. All the way to the back. Alright, we can go a little far and then we're going to be grounded. And... Grounded. Oh, this music. Hmm. 
they never went away. Hmm, you're right. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I don't. Maybe he's all stealthy. I love that these are all voiced. Yeah, it's nice. Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. Goodness. Arianji sounds bored. This is good to see you well. Wasn't thank God with you? He left to attend to some personal errand, but should be returning ere long. Okay, that was really... Oh, you flatter me. Vague. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our preferred <laughs> <Lugans>. <laughs> Adjectives are funny. The Lockerets had been seeking new purpose for the moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum hath been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Cryle. Okay, yes. Such knowledge, but the Loperets now stand convinced that adventurers delight. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Treasure hunting. <laughs> riches and mystery. Do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon? So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the Is world that I found myself powerless to refuse them. Wow. Isn't the new treasure map stuff on on the moon? Or Loperitz? It's, it's Loperitz stuff, yeah. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Uh, we're going on a tre treasure hunt. Fascinating. We're looking for fortune. Ah, it's fortuitous. Yep, that's what that's what I said, Arianje. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. Thanks. Goodness, so formal. How long has it been? I wonder. When last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation. It sounds like just about everybody is just ready to go on an adventure. Though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, it is pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Counting Istinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await unwary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. You know what? Shall we be on the twins way? make eight. That's true. What? No time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard. When was the last time you were a bard, sir? I don't even know if Thangrid knows how to sing. I mean. He has technically styled himself a bard since the Rummer born. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits. The rabbits. It seems our paths were not to cross. You're looking well. That's because hmm. you didn't travel by experimental etherite. <laughs> so much sass. 
<sighs> in any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. <laughs> <laughs> One way of looking at it. So, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seem fit to gather? Oh, no, no reason. You're not invited. Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen. I don't know if you sound a little hurt. With the promise of <laughs> and scholarly glory. <laughs> then it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment. Sure, Yanji, that's all it is. Thankred, if you can find an excuse to go, then you can go. But you have to find some other excuse to go, just like everybody else. Of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. <laughs> this is adorable. I could put in a good word for you if you like. His face. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. We need to make more friends, so we're not always just a bunch of scions. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and start Agreed. Out the far east. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. You know who we should take with us? Till we meet again. Emmerich. Shall we also hasten our departure? I don't think he's ever going to leave. Wonder what has become of us. Just take him out for some fresh air every once in a while. <laughs> take it. Take him for a walk. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to leave. You just go out for a little bit. <laughs> we'll bring him back, I promise. Alright, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm back. Same Maru. Yeah, I think I need to go with a little bit more saturation in my hair color. It's a little too desaturated. Very gray. Yeah. Sorry. No, okay. Fine. Duistinian. Look how big the moon is. It's a moon. It's a moon, eh? <laughs> that chocobo. I see that now. <laughs> okay. That's what I do. When you send me out to find someone, I just assemble a party for it. <laughs> I would think that us little people wouldn't be 
too much trouble for a ship that carries nah. elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Baked alien soup. Nobody has anything new to say. Your inventory is a little full over there. Yeah. I don't know what to do about it. Um, sell stuff? But I need all this stuff. Do you? Mm -hmm. I see a lot of single use items just for fireworks and stuff like that. I need those. <laughs> What are your retainers doing? Um, Never mind. That's probably an not, answer I don't want to know. They're actually fairly empty. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, I don't have a lot of those left. Well, those can go away. Those are boring. Okay. Sorry. Oh, good. Yes, you're still. You're right, it's definitely not that thing. <laughs> Alright, have a talky talk with everybody now. Matsya says the same thing. Awesome. Alas, it is late and I need to wrap up my evening because I have to get up around seven. Uh, I was going to say, you're probably much the same, Echo. Yeah, I am. Um. Sarah's over there. Pyro. Huh? Oh. Sarah, mm -hmm. Pyro. It's over by Mats Matsya. Oh. Uh. Yeah, not gotcha. surprised. They are still playing the game. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. Hopefully they're doing okay. Well, uh, I'm going to head back, probably change my hair color real quick, but other than that, I am done for the night. Um, what do we have planned for tomorrow? Nothing. What do you have going on, Echo? Nothing. Okay. Well, it sounds like we're running a dungeon tomorrow. I mean, Bubby, Bubby needs a bath, but other than that... Yeah, but she will hopefully be down around 9. Tonight we got 
very lucky, and she went down at 8.30. But that's what happens when she doesn't sleep during the day ever anymore. She's decided she doesn't want naps anymore. It's been, I think, six days since I've gotten her to take a nap in the afternoon. Oh. She's adjusting. But it's kind of frustrating because now I, I don't get that time. time in, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We'll get through it. You will. You will. And you'll adjust. And then mm. she'll change again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> She got 10 teeth now. Oh no, I'm sorry, goodness. 11. She has 11. Oh. She's got all of her molars in. 